previously on the Ark of Time. Hello, Ezekiel. I'm sorry to interrupt your work, but I have need of your assistance. I'm very confused, uh, Mr. Britt. I need you to come with me and meet my friend Adam. Together, the two of you will go find missing treasure. Pleased to meet you, Zeke. This must be the criminal you told me about. Ah, come on. That's no way to start a friendship. Hey, what's this? Uh, what's what? There's a piece of paper tucked into the pages here. Ah, oh, good. It's a clue from Brett. It is indeed. It's a good thing you have me alone. Well, if you're so smart, how about you take us there, then? Well, I don't really know how to do that. Look out! W was that what I think it was? You've got to be kidding me. You've actually brought us back to the time of the dinosaurs. How can I have faith if I know that it was actually men like us who were sent to make these things happen? Settle down, Zeke. I'm confident we're doing the work of God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. These men have brought to you my laws, which you must give to your people. Well, let's see if we can't catch up to Moses then. Not so fast, gents. You've done what you came here to do, but I thought you'd like some direction to your next destination. Thanks. I hope it's clearer this time. Who's this third person that's supposed to be joining us? I think he's gone again. Okay, so, any ideas? I don't know, you got any friends we could bring along? <laughs> oh, the closest thing I have to friends wouldn't exactly be the kind of people we'd want along on this trip. So what you really mean is, all your friends are criminals. You know, I've had about enough of you. It's bad enough I had to put up with all this crap when Jessup was still- Wait! What about Jessup? What do you mean? Well, we need a third person, and he already knows about the time travel thing, so we won't have to deal with the issue of explaining it. Works for me. All right, well, let's get going then. You ready? Does it matter? Nope. I hope this is the right place. Where are we exactly? Atlanta, I think. You think? Hey, I'm new to all this Lord of Time stuff. At least there aren't any dinosaurs. Well, at least we're back in normal clothes, finally. Indeed. Although it appears some of my unfortunate jewelry is back. Is that a tracking ankle bracelet, like they use for criminals? What, are you surprised? <sighs> no, I suppose not. So, where do we find this Jessup character? Uh, hopefully in here. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I was hoping to see Reverend Jones. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. We just decided to see him about 3,000 years ago. I'm sorry? Uh, just a little time travel humor. Never mind. I'm an old friend. Is he busy? I'm afraid he's all booked up today. If you'd like to make an appointment, come back. Look, we're only in town for a short time. If you could just tell him Adam is here, I'm, I'm sure- I'm afraid that's impossible. He's on a conference call at the moment, and I don't like to interrupt. Fine, don't tell him anything. Just take this to his office and show it to him. I don't see how a dirty necklace is going it's to- It's actually a pendant. A what? Just humor me for a moment. Show that to your boss, bring it back to me, and I'll leave. Fine. I sure hope she brings that thing back. I'm not too worried about it. But we need it for- Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I've lost it before. And we had a heck of a time getting it back, if I recall. Well, if it isn't the Reverend Jessup James Jones. Good to see you. And you as well. Who's your friend? This is Zeke. It's Ezekiel. Whatever, he's uh, sort of the new you, I guess. <laughs> well, come on back and we can talk in my office. If, if you're not too busy, your secretary here mentioned something about a conference call. Nothing that's more important than a visit from an old friend. Hmm, imagine that. Why, I haven't seen you for... Well, I guess it's been over 2,000 years now, hasn't it? Can I get you gentlemen something to drink? Sure, that'd be great. I'll take a beer. Sandy, can you bring us some lemonades? 
Sure thing. I'll be in in a minute. So, how you been, preacher? Can't complain. And what about you? I thought you were done with all this time traveling stuff. Well, you know, when Brett wants you to do something, you can't just go and ignore him. Why not? Most people do. Very true. You know, I still can't believe you chose to leave the temple with nothing. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Thank you, Sam. So, whatever happened to the big fancy office at New Covenant Headquarters? Headquarters? <laughs> You're looking at it. Yes, well, let's just say I went a different direction with my ministry. I've chosen to focus on making a difference, not making money. Clearly. Didn't you have some papers to file, Sandy? <sighs> so what brings you to Atlanta, Adam? Aren't you curious about what I got from the temple? Not really. I trust that whatever you received, it was just what you were looking for. Indeed it was. So then what brings you to Atlanta? Well, to be honest, we were kind of hoping you'd come with us. What do you mean? Well... It would appear that we need a third for our latest endeavor, and I, I couldn't think of a better person. Oh, I don't know. Come on. It'll be fun, just like old times. Well, which is it? Fun or just like old times? Ah, you had fun and you know it. Well, maybe a little. So come with us. But things are pretty busy around here. I really shouldn't take any time off. Now, preacher, you know as well as I do that when we're done, you can return to your office a few minutes ago and catch up on that conference call you're missing. <laughs> I suppose you're right. So, shall we then? Uh, what about the pendant? I've got it right here. I told you he'd give it back. No, I mean for him. We've only got two pendants, but there are three of us. How's that gonna work? Oh, right. Uh, well, looks like I can't go then. Oh, well. No, no. You're not getting out of it that easy. Well, then how do we do this? It's easy. We just do it like the old fox, goose, and corn problem. I'm not familiar with that one. Well, you see there's a fox, a goose, and a bag of corn that need to be taken across the river. Yeah, yeah, you can explain it all later. Right now, we've got places to be. Hold tight for a minute, preacher. I'll be right back. Ready, Zeke? Sure, but they still don't. Yeah, this should work. Let me see your pendant for a minute. Okay, but why? Just trust me. Okay, now what? Now, hide in those bushes and sit tight. I'll be right back. Wait, what? Where are you going with my... Oh, this is just great. I knew I was gonna get stuck somewhere in the dark ages with no... Phew, I'd forgotten how strange that hey, is. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just go off with my pendant like that. And how else was I supposed to get the preacher here? Oh, I see. Well, you could have at least told me what you were doing. There's not enough time in the world to explain to you everything that's going on all the time. You're just going to have to start catching on one of these days. So now that we're all here, what is it we're supposed to be doing? Well, we're not exactly sure. I was kind of hoping you would know. The clue was sort of vague. Clue? Yeah, Brit's giving us clues now. He's a regular poet. So what does it say? Journey you now to the father of old through whom the count of the stars was foretold. Your goal is apparently poetic. The three will deliver a message prophetic, and then the two will be closer to their gold. Hmm, so then we're meeting Abraham. Right, that's what I said. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, if I'm right about the clue, then you don't need me after all. But it says there will be three. Right, but when the three men appeared to Abraham, one of them was the Lord. Oh, so that means... Probably. I don't understand. Well, obviously the third man... Hold on there, preacher. He's still working that one out. I see. Well, either way, you really don't need me. Actually, I think I do. Hey, what are we doing back here? Don't worry, I'll be back in a bit. Just enjoy the lemonade for a while. Oh, and I'll take that. Thanks. Where did you take him? Ah, uh, back to your office. We needed a little time apart. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's get this over with. I see some tents just over the hill up there. Hopefully that's the place. I believe it is. 
I was wondering when you'd show up. I'm honored to be in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jessup. But as you know, I'm always around. You just don't often see me. Yes, I know, but... And call me Brit. I rather like the name. So, Brit, shall we go talk to old Abe? Uh, yes, that's his tent just up over there. So, Adam, I'm rather curious about this substitution you've made. What? Oh, you mean Jessup for Z. Precisely. Well, see, originally we thought that the clue was telling us we needed a third person. But then Jessup explained that you were going to be the third, so I figured I'd give Zeke a break on this one. Oh, so it was out of concern for your new partner's well-being that you locked him in Jessup's closet? Exactly. Uh, Adam, you do remember that he knows what you're thinking, right? Hey, I can still try, can I? Yes, well, it seems you two are back to your old ways. Perhaps you can try to get along for this bit. We have work to do. Of course. Sure thing, dude. So... What is it that we're doing My here Lord, anyway? if I have found favor in your eyes, do not pass your servant by. Let me bring some water, and you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat, so you can be refreshed and then go on your way, now that you have come to your servant. Very well, do as you say. Thank you, my lord. Please wait here, and I will be back shortly. No problem. So, now what? Now we wait. Indeed, Jessup, although I'm afraid I'll have to excuse myself for a moment, I have another matter to attend to. Of course. You're the boss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for this evening. Join us again next week as we conclude our visit with Father Abraham, and the boys get into a lot of trouble. Tonight's episode of The Ark of Time was written and directed by Scott Strossel. Adam King and Ezekiel Miller were performed by Greg Kilberger and Steve Rampici. Additional voices were performed by Michael Helgen, Steve Rampici, and Casey Strossel. Until next week, do pop into the Facebook page. Thanks for listening, and good night from Stroby Studios.